Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, let's uh, let's do nine oh oh oh. You guys are here. Well, let's talk the Galaxy Z Flip and do some gaming. So the brand new Galaxy Z Flip is Samsung's second foldable device. This is a clamshell foldable. It reminds you of your old school smartphones, flip phones, if you will. And it's really small. You can see how small it is, fits in the palm of my hand. And uh, it opens up into a much larger device. So you've got a screen size that's about 6.7 inches, kind of almost slightly bigger than the Galaxy S10 uh, Plus. Uh, but this thing packs in a lot of performance, and we're going to check that out today playing a few games. We were playing Call of Duty Mobile, uh, of course, PUBG Mobile, Fortnite, and Shadow Run, Shadow Gun War Games. Just to give you an idea of what this can do. We'll check out temperatures as well and we'll be doing our speaker test. Plus, we're playing some emulators as well, so go ahead and see that. Now, this is all powered by the Snapdragon 855 Plus processor. That should be able to run all these quite well, and we've got 8 gigs of RAM. Now, in terms of battery, we're looking at 3,500 milliamps, and uh, of course, this uses a standard 25 watt uh, charger. I believe 25 watt, it might be 15. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're gonna see how this all plays in together with this device. So without wasting any more time, let's do some gaming.
There is a lot to talk about the Galaxy Z Flip. So let's start off with just gaming performance overall. 855 Plus processor is a beast. Remember the ROG Phone uh, 2 had it last year and uh, this thing runs the games really well. You saw of course the FPS counter for all of them are uh, roughly around 60 frames per second and we got about 30 frames for uh, Fortnite which is kind of locked at that at this point in time. Uh, and it ran well. There were uh, Fortnite was in one where I got some weird glitches. I don't know why, but it shouldn't be the case. Uh, but I say overall, it ran really well and performance is good. Now, in terms of temperatures, though, we clocked in at 99 degrees, even though I registered 98 there. Uh, it's something that runs really hot and it's around the camera uh, module. That's where you're going to see feel the most amount of heat. So that's just something to take note. Now, in terms of the speakers, though, we saw the speaker test or you heard the speaker test as well. 101.6 decibels, that's coming from a single mono speaker and we got some good sound dissipation. Uh, just be very careful if you're gaming so you don't cover that up. Now this device still performs really well um, and I wish Samsung would add more gaming features uh, so that you can do more in just in terms of what you want to do. The game center is a bit limited I would say but you still have that there. I think overall if you're going to be playing games or you're going to be playing um, emulators as well like the Game Boy emulator that I have uh, which also ran really well with no issues. Uh, this thing does a fantastic job and I like it for gaming because it's a nice clamshell. You can close it and boom, you're good to go. Uh, it fits into your pocket quite easily and nicely. And you can take it out and you know you can go like this, bam, and then start gaming and do whatever you want to. Uh, so that is really nice. Now you've got, of course, all the pecs and features you find with a Galaxy device. This does have reverse wireless charging. So that's also a good plus right there. Uh, you do have also a, a, a nice camera system. Samsung just adds uh, a, a, a case with it. So you have some protection for this device. It isn't water resistant, but should protect much better with your dust. I think overall people will like this device. It is priced at $1380. There's a trading offer that will bring it down to $140. I don't know if that fits you but if you're looking to pick this up and you're thinking hmm, can I game on the Galaxy Z Flip yes you can and you can do that quite well so if you have any questions or any comments let me know guys otherwise don't forget to like share subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment now let me fire up that Game Boy emulator